Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Sorry it's so loud. We're in the reptile room and um, I've decided to take my lizards out of this bottom cage that uh, my father and I built. I'm going to make this the new home for my cane toads. This is a much needed upgrade for the toads. They're going to have tons of space and I'm going to find an awesome other spot for my lizards to go as well. So everyone has got a win-win. And um, so I'm just going to show you some features of this cage. Um, it's six feet long and about probably 20 inches deep so it's a pretty large custom cage the whole front uh, rotates up and down the hinges and I attach it with these latches I keep it up there with the latches on each end and uh, it's got these plexiglass windows for viewing so I can see what they're doing but it is high enough that they can't jump out but I can reach in there to you know to take one out for work or uh, to feed them or change the water that kind of thing but if I want to clean it I can also just fold this down very easily and um, got some real tree branches from outside. This one's kind of hollow, so I thought that would be a cool natural hiding spot. I've got a cat litter pan, like a small cat litter box pan for their watering dish. And I've got these sections from an oak tree that I cut out um, from when I cut a tree down. And I have each one kind of going like a ramp on each side of it because you can see how they're, they're cut kind of like a triangular cross section there bunch of rocks. I've also got one stone in there. I always put a stone in the water bowl that way if they have a hard time getting out they can climb on the stone and get a grip and uh, help them get out of there. But I use this to help them get out also. It's a little ramp for them. And um, <clears throat> so I've got these. These actually were from McDonald's for trick-or-treating like trick-or-treat pails and I've cut little holes in them. Little toad abodes. And that I'm sure you guys all recognize what that's from. Sandcastle, you got it. So that's a cool one. If you guys want a cool idea that's fun for your toads to hide in, you can use sandcastle. Just make sure that you, you sand the edges where you cut out so it's not going to cut them. And that's just a flower pot over there. So I lay this out, make sure that everything is secure so it can't fall over. This branch here has another little part of it down there which helps it uh, from falling over. And uh, I just create lots of little nooks and crannies. I have four of these toads, four of my cane toads, so I want to make sure there are enough little nooks and crannies throughout this whole thing that everyone can get their own space. See, like in here, like they'll choose there as a spot, they'll choose in there as a spot, in there. Um, that way, you reduce stress with the animals and they can each have their own little territory to hunt and not stress each other out. So, um, also, I've removed the heat bulbs. These are just uh, this is a compact fluorescent, and this one, this one I believe has a daylight blue bulb. And um, there are heating pads under here. Let me show you this. I don't know if you, any of you guys saw the video of when I built this, but on each end of this I have plexiglass uh, panels siliconed in with a uh, with an eight watts zoom ed heating pad under there that's attached to the thermostat. So there's heat there. And there's heat kind of right here in front of this flower pot. And then they have everywhere else that's cooler. And that's what I use to give them a thermal gradient so they can uh, thermal regulate their body heat. So I'm about to put the toads in there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whoa, they're going crazy. So I've got four of them. The two ones I've had the longest are nice and big. And those two little ones um, I just got, they're going to need some fattening up. I believe one of those is a male. Let's see when I pick them up. I hope he's not doing a release call. Let's see if this one does. Sometimes you pick up a male, they do a release call. Yep. <laughs> so that's a boy. They, they, if it's a boy and you pick it up and they think another boy's trying to mate with them, they do that release call. So cute. So, alright, everybody's in. Big mama. And somebody's already in their hut. Let me just close this before we have any mishaps. I'm gonna latch it up. Enjoy it guys. You guys are so cool. You deserve it. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. If you'd like to help support the work that I do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Some of our videos have Amazon links and that helps support us as well. And I have a new membership program just for you guys. If you want to find out about it, please check out AnimalWorldExperience.com. Click on Become a Member for details. Thanks guys. <laughs>